Hey guys! So yeah, it's been over a year probably since the last time that I made a video on this particular channel and we're gonna get into why. 2016 was a year I really don't even want to get into. Like we'll touch base with bits and pieces of it, but I really could <laughs> go on with the rest of my life without ever having to experience that bullshit again. Basically, last time I was talking to you guys, I was telling you that me and my former best friend, we were going to move to Atlanta. And if it wasn't obvious why I'm saying former best friend, things happened and we never did go together. However, I went alone. I'm not gonna strain myself into talking about every little detail because there are some things that I really don't feel like getting backlash for. Like there are people that did make the experience really really bad and so by the end of the year I actually had to go into getting therapy so I've actually been diagnosed with depersonalization and if you guys don't know what that is there are videos about it but let me tell you the best way to get into understanding what it is so that way if you do meet people who have it we can raise some awareness about it because I realize there there's not a lot about it to understand when you meet somebody who is going through it or you know they have been diagnosed with it there are some traits that cling on to other i don't want to say mental disorders but you know uh illnesses and whatnot so deed personalization is basically where everything around you feels like it's not real and you typically get diagnosed with this when you've gone through trauma or you've had very intense anxiety attacks like the whole world feels like you're in a movie and you're just watching everything you're going to feel numb you're going to be depressed everything is just going to feel like it's too much and you just want to wrap up in a ball. I've experienced life. <laughs> That's the, the, for lack of a better word, let's just say that. I've been going through realizing who's real, who's not, and having to really understand what it means to be yourself and not really lean on any other people. Not necessarily that that's what I was doing the whole time, but basically my desires to, li to live in Atlanta and make it work for like the umpteenth time since I have been living in Florida, I realized that I was doing it for the wrong reasons. So let's get into just basically me saying my depersonalization has come from a trauma of loss. And that doesn't mean like I've experienced death, throughout the whole year. Now, my paternal grandma did pass away over the fall and I did not get a chance to even get to see her before it happened. I did get a car and I had a house and things were going well up until the people who said, yeah, we're gonna help you, don't worry about it, came back and made me realize that <clears throat> when you don't have all of your shit together, it, no one's got you like you. So <clears throat> I'm back in Florida now and I'm actually looking for an apartment to go and stay <clears throat> by myself. I don't know what's wrong with my throat. It's probably the allergy. So sorry if like my voice sort of crackles of drank water and everything and for some reason I'm still dehydrated. So I've been dealing with my depersonalization by getting into doing things to take me away from feeling like nothing is real and not saying that I'm being delusional and making my own reality, but I'm focusing more on things that I want to do. And so we're gonna get into why the name of this channel has actually changed. Mother Scorpio comes from two things. One being that I realized my rising sign is a Scorpio while my son is a Pisces. The main reason why Mother Scorpio is a thing is I realized I'm a mom friend to everybody. And I did open up to a lot of people last year explaining that in 2013 I've actually been hiding a secret that I really did not want to tell anybody but I'm gonna tell you guys because you guys have been my fans for I don't even know how long but I realized even when my hiatus had gone on I did go from about like 240 something people to 262 now as I'm checking this right uh, while I'm recording and what you guys need to know is this also adds into my depersonalization where when my friends want to tell me the little things that you know they're uh, when you know their moms and everything it's awesome and I've actually been blessed with a niece so my brother my second brother um, and his girlfriend have a baby girl named Angel Santana Williams <laughs> is the cutest name in the future you'll probably see her in vlogs because um, right now I'm at my mom's house but in the future I'm gonna be staying with my grandma in my old house again except my niece is there so that's why I'm not living in that apartment currently um, it will be a temporary place but we'll get into that later in 2013 like I said before I have been struggling with accepting the fact that I had a miscarriage 
and I had it with a, a boyfriend at the time who he just didn't really seem to, it didn't sink into him the way it sunk into me because he was sort of avoiding me before I could even tell him. And I have gone through a lot of relationships where I've been avoided or left for somebody else and things. So my struggle with feeling like I'm even a person half of the time is ridiculous so my snake was given away my puppy was given away like my puppy is still within the family and my snake was just given to my brother's friend the one who is the dad of my niece I'm just kind of here clinging to things but also trying not to be so attached and what I've realized is I've become numb to the idea of being attached to anything and to people who are watching me that sucks to me I'm just like I mean it it makes me feel less hurt I don't really know how to make sense of it because I know when people love and want to feel comforted with the people and the things that make them happy this is the best feeling in the world however I feel like my curse is when I get too close to something it always wants to run away so whatever reason there is for it whether I'm being clingy or whatever I don't even want to like bother myself to get into the why of things and that's how I drove myself crazy last year. So I'm not going to give you guys all the details of how I went into therapy and how that came into play. If anybody has any questions I'll be happy to tell you personally one on one but there, like I said there are some things where it ties into other people being brought into the mix and I don't want anybody to feel that they have to bash them or anything and thinking it's going to make me feel better because it's not and I'd rather again we act like it didn't even happen. So again, the reason of my hiatus was I was just dealing with life. The second reason that Mother Scorpio is a thing is actually why this channel is a big deal and why we're revamping it. We as in myself and well, uh, just me. <laughs> I'm going to do more spiritual stuff on this channel because I'm writing a story to bring awareness to depersonalization. Now it is a fictional story, but the character in the book is basically the main, like the heart of all of my creations. So you guys know, if you didn't know already, I do write and I do draw. I will be making more art videos in the near future. I just haven't been able to do it as much recently because I do not have a desk. If I were to turn my camera, you can see where my computer is laying and it's actually on the floor, which is how I've been gaming and everything. I still do go by Viper Vanity, but just only on my gaming channel. And if you were curious about how that works, I will put a link below. And I also do gaming on Twitch. We're not really going to discuss that right now. Basically, Mother Scorpio is me being the mom friend and giving, I guess, like a peaceful vibe for people who don't have what I didn't have, but I want to be that friend that I didn't get to have when I was going through what I was going through. There were people who did reach out to me to make sure that I was okay and try to talk me through it, so it was great. And, you know, I'm fine. I don't, I don't need to be medicated or anything. I just have to be very mindful of the stress and the people that I surround myself with, which in Atlanta, I realized that the people I was trying to run to were not good for me. There are some that I still am close with. There are people that like, they had nothing to do with what happened and we're still cool to this day. But there are some people that I'm like that, it, it was a huge wake up call. If I kept chasing after these same things, my life would just pass me by. I had a birthday recently, now I'm 28 years old. I was celebrating in New York with a friend. And then when I came down, I had all these huge ideas. And before you know it, I had not one job, but two. So currently I'm working for Ulta Beauty as a beauty advisor and that's why my hair is the color that it is now. Now I, I was supposed to do a review on this wig but I've cut it and everything recently. I mean if you still want a review I'll be happy to tell you. I don't remember who made it or anything but I'll try to do some research and put all the description of everything down below. I'm focused more on again writing. I've actually finished one of my books and it will be available on Amazon after the editing and everything is finished so look out for that. I'll give some announcements here and on my gaming channel. I'm also keeping up with my appearance so like I've, I'm doing my makeup more and as you can see now it looks like my wigs are growing out of my hair but like I just did like the got to be glued tutorial and if you guys want me to individually do what uh, I do like this is my first time ever doing it so I realized like this isn't perfect there are some sections that are like raising and then living in Florida humidity I don't know how well this is gonna sit but it's it's pretty snug on there I don't want to keep rambling but I am happy with how things are going I just feel like it could be better. So again, I'm working on the apartment, I'm fixing up my car because it's had issues and I've just had to replace the fuel pump. I will be doing some dance cover videos and while holding two jobs, this is gonna be a little difficult but I'm gonna try to rotate everything so that like it works. And it would be a shame to just leave this channel 
completely untouched for like a long time because I am still getting subscribers even though I don't really I'm not sure what you guys are subscribing for I thought I was horrible <laughs> like I actually took time to look back at my old videos and I'm like oh my god I'm not really the same youtuber I used to be like now I want to have a purpose with my videos because before I was just doing them to see if I could like gain attention for free products and meeting youtubers and collabing with them and you know i just wanted to be popular but now i don't really care about those things so much I'm not saying i don't want those things ever i'll still do reviews on things but as far as makeup tutorials i'm not too confident about those like i'm still learning some things and having to do like a lot of sorting through my old makeup and deciding what i want and i am purchasing more makeup because working for Ulta now, I do get a discount and that's awesome. My channel now will mostly be for healing and encouragement. So I'll also be giving like spiritual advice and doing tarot readings. They'll be free unless you want like a personal reading. I know people charge for that. I'm going to keep my prices reasonable. Just it depends on like what you want. And I'll do like some demos just so everybody can understand like my tarot readings aren't like through the book, they're basically, I guess, an oracle message. Is there anything else I wanna cover? Not really, but um, I hope you guys have been doing okay, and I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I had to get better. I feel like I had like all these important messages to tell you guys, and now I'm just sitting here like, shit, should've wrote it down. <laughs> I will give some very strong advice that I wish um, someone had told me, and I probably would've recovered a lot faster, and it's, he who controls your emotions controls your life. So I have in the past allowed that to happen a lot where people would stand me up, they would treat me funny, they would disclude me, they would ignore me, they would lead me on and do all kinds of things and I would always sit there and wonder what's wrong with me, like why can't I be more, why can't I be this person that people take seriously and things like that. And when I take my emotions out of things and stop feeling like something is entitled to me or stop taking everything personally or basically stop giving that person my time of day because it's, it's to a point where I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 30 in two years and do I really want to keep doing the same shit over and over again or do I want to focus on myself and make sure that I'm right? I know it's not just me. I do have a lot of really close friends of mine who think they're ugly and fat and disgusting and they're not worth anything and they, they say these things to me and I'm like, you know, but you're the one saying that, like, what you feel and what you think is placed out into the world. So if you think you're an ugly, disgusting person, the people are, are going to treat you that way. I realize ever since I've been taking more care of myself, the next thing I want to work on as far as my body is concerned, after I get my dehydration and my, um, I don't want to say eating disorder. It's hard for me to like open my stomach in the morning basically, but I'm trying to get to a regimen where I can work out and eat and take, you know, better, just better care of my own body. But next is my teeth, because I feel like when people look at me or, you know, we do intimate things that my teeth get in the way. And now I'm to a point where I can barely chew because my wisdom teeth have came in and they've broken teeth on their way in. So maybe looking at dentures, but Instead of me feeling embarrassed about that, now I'm just like, okay, but it's, you know, if, even if I never find an intimate person in my life for the remainder of my life, I'm stuck with me. And I, again, realize when I do take better care of myself, when I am happy with myself and I think to myself, you know what, you're amazing, you're strong, you're awesome, you're beautiful, and the world needs to know that you exist, why do you keep hiding this potential why do you keep like closing yourself up in a cage stop thinking all these negative things the right people come out and they want to hang with me and you know that <laughs> some people want to spoil me some people want to give me their time of day and and then it becomes excessive where it doesn't stop at the time of the day they want to hang out like 24 7 and i'm like jesus christ i'm an introvert and I am also a homebody, so I don't like to go out too much, but when I do, like, feel special because it's very rare for me to really want to reach out to people. Also, I'm really, really shy. So, again, it is sort of difficult for me to reach out and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in doing this, this, that, and the other, because I always low-key think I'm bothering people. But from what I've heard, you know, there are people who really do wish I'd reach out to them more. And I'm going to start with YouTube because I feel... 
Okay, I want to let you guys in on a little secret. I, I do want to go out and meet more people who are like me. And then there are people who may not might not be like me, but they might have been the people that I needed to get to know at the time. So it guides me out of my shell. So I do want to travel, and I do want to meet new people. I've been watching people on YouTube thinking, dang, you know, like, I really wish this person lived closer. I'd hang out with them all the time. <laughs> Things like that. And there's people who probably think that about me, but I'll never know if I... Do you know, don't make the effort to get out there. And that's the same I want to tell you guys. So like, let's start with this video as an example. Why everything is changing for me is because I wasn't happy with who I was and didn't know if it needed to be changed or not. So me changing it for myself is the best thing I could have done for myself ever in my whole entire life. I used to be like this when I was 17 where I didn't really need people and I could just focus on me and things I wanted to do and not feel bad. But the more people that I tried to, you know, become closer with because it felt like the right thing to do. Not necessarily like, you know, I, I was trying to be close with them to use them or anything like that, but there was something about certain people that I'm like, hmm, that might be for me. And then I realized how they would act. And I'd be like, no, this, I wouldn't do anybody like that. So, you know, me hanging with you, basically me advertising what I am. You are what you advertise. So if you're treating people like shit, people are going to treat you like shit. And there are people who treat people really well, but mostly because internally they're expecting the same treatment. So you got to let your expectations go because people will let you down. They will. They fucking will. Oh my God, trust me. 2016 was the biggest lesson of people will let you the fuck down and then laugh at you while you're sinking. Like it, 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 it is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. However, you can be mad and you can be vengeful and angry and try to get back at them or you can say fuck it, focus on you and watch they will come running back. Nine times out of ten, if they cared about you enough, you left some sort of impression, baby, you, you got it. You don't need them and they don't need you. But and it, people want what they can't have. That's essentially how it goes. So my advice as this channel is progressing is to be the you that you want in the universe. Be the person that you would want to acknowledge and be around. Like if you don't have that friend, which I do, I'm blessed to say that I do have friends that do care about me and they wouldn't want anything to happen to me and they will correct somebody who says anything about me, you know. Some people don't have that and they feel bad because of it. But that's probably because you're not meant to go and find that person, you're supposed to be that person. So the person that I find myself wanting to say that's my best friend or that's my girlfriend or that's my boyfriend or I have to start with myself so long story short that is the reason why this channel will be changing <sighs> well I'll also I'll try to do more vlogs we'll see how that goes I only have this one camera but I am looking at a DSLR probably the T5i because I sold my T3i I didn't need it at the time but now that I'm trying to I'm I realize I'm doing a lot at once but if I keep focused things are adding up like I I told myself as 2017 is gonna go I'm gonna have three jobs technically I do technically I have four or five of them and I'm trying to start my own business with my writing and my art and eventually I do hope to work on designing clothes and stickers for cars and just just Doing what makes me happy, creating, being a mother, and creating things, bringing them into the world. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same. You know, whatever you've been holding off on, or you think like, you know, this person might not return your feelings, or that job might not call you back, just go out and fucking do it. Come on now, like, life is passing you by. And 10 years from now, don't you want to be that person? Like, maybe if I have kids in the future, I want to be able to tell them, you know, when I was struggling, I thought nobody had it for me. I had it for me. I put it down. I was on some fucking thug shit. We were against this paradise in this motherfucker. My kid's gonna be like, damn, mom, you straight. You got it. Yo, I want to be just like you when I grow up. I love you guys. And I want to personally thank you for subscribing, even when I haven't been around. And for those who have been watching me and have been a fan since day one, man, y'all are the VIP for real. I believe in you. Whoever you are, whoever's watching this, you got this. You're strong. You were put on this earth to be the strongest warrior. 
you were the strongest sperm, my nigga. So let's do this. I don't want to hear no more. Oh, but you know, I, I was thinking about it, but there, there is no room for but. There is no room for no. There is no room for can't. If you want it, you need to start thinking right now. You need to start acting like it's already yours. I'm not saying go out there and rape people and shit, you know, but act like whatever you want it's already yours even if it's not the person even if it's not that particular job something better might be there and don't you want to be there for when things get better yeah i think you do i'm glad i'm still here i got to meet my niece and i get to do this video and i get to look fabulous and work at like my two dream jobs and still you know i got room to look for more and travel and fix up my car and Updates on that when it happens. God, I'm rambling. So, again, for the last time, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Please share this video with your friends. Maybe that'll give them some encouragement. Maybe, you know, I'm the person they need to come and see. I'm open for everybody. Giggity. Take care. And I really want to see you in the next video, okay?